you know, there there are earth shaking moments, you know, where the world, you know, just just changes. It's like the whole planet is rung like a bell. And these are the kind of moments that you 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 remember where you were when you heard the news. Uh, I was too young, but people say when they heard Kennedy was was shot, they knew exact. They they remembered that exact instant. I remember the instant that I heard about the Challenger explosion. I remember where I was when Princess Diana died. I, I certainly remember where I was on 9/11. But none of this really can compare to the shock I felt when I discovered that Kevin Spacey was gay. I mean, I simply, <laughs> I, I, I was speechless for, I, I'm still almost unable to process the information. Um, it was this a clear was blue clear, morning. This was, <laughs> this was clearly a pretty cynical approach oh. to play the victim card to cover over the fact that he's actually not the victim in this story, he's the predator. And there was a lot of backlash against it, and I thought, well-deserved. What do you feel about this guy who's basically connecting his uh, his coming out statement of being gay with child molestation, when in point of fact, this is one of the great lies that, that the homosexual community has had to fight since there's been such a thing as the homosexual community? Exactly. Um, it's hideous, it's disgusting, and but also it was a brilliant PR move. Um, if you look at what happened, um, the allegations came out, you know, late, uh, late, late uh, last week, was it, uh, uh, over the weekend maybe, and um, uh, immediately he obviously was prepared for this. He had the statement, uh, you know, coming out. The, the first news reports that came out, ABC News, The Daily Beast, uh, um, uh, New York Magazine, all of the headlines were Kevin Spacey comes out as gay. Some of them were as despicable, like ABC News, as to say, um, you know, Kevin Spacey comes out as gay in emotional tweet, uh, you know, like other than uh, <laughs> so. And then you didn't get to the allegations that it, the, the reason why he was coming out as gay is because somebody accused him of attempted child rape, uh, an actor when he was uh, when the actor was 14 years old. Uh, you didn't get to that till well down into the story. So brilliant PR. They knew what they were doing. And when I first saw this, I thought to myself, um, I thought, well, there it goes. He's going to be on every daytime talk show. He's going to be on Ellen. He's going to be talking about right. his his struggles, you know, like, oh, being closeted in Hollywood. Meanwhile, everyone has known that he's been living face. He's been living as an openly gay man for years, maybe decades in Hollywood. But he's been protected by the Hollywood media because of his precious career. He's afraid he didn't, wouldn't get the roles. So I saw this happening. And then suddenly the most powerful gay voices in Hollywood, rightfully so, people who I have nothing, I would normally agree with nothing on, like Rosie O'Donnell, rightfully so, began to come after him, and it was glorious. Uh, and they called him out for, for exactly the reason you said. You know, this, this myth of gay people being pedophiles and pederasts, um, not that there aren't gay pedophiles and pederasts, of course there are, uh, but um, it, uh, uh, it, he was conflating that. He was, trying to, he was trying to shield himself from the rainbow flag to, um, to, uh, to, to deflect from these allegations, uh, which, you know, by the way, House of Cards canceled, Netflix canceled the show extremely fast, so they yeah. obviously know that like, there could be a lot more coming. The next day. Uh, yeah, the next day. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, they were right to this, and and um, it was it was it was despicable that he thought he could get away with it, but but not surprising because it's worked so often. Um, as I'd said before, that that if if he had been living, if he'd been a good gay in Hollywood, if he had been going to the Glad Awards every year, if he'd been you know uh, on all the gay magazines, if he'd been you know t whatever tweeting, standing up for so-called gay rights for years, this would have disappeared. It was the fact that the gays were like, no, 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 you don't get to join us That's now. Right. That's right. You don't right. get to join the gay, the political gay lobby now. Yeah, Michael Jackson uh, yeah. did something similar to that, didn't he? When he when he finally got in real trouble with some of these charges, he just you know says, oh, "I'm being uh, per, you know being persecuted because I'm a black man." And a lot of people in the black community said, "You haven't been a black man for 35 years. You know, you yeah. don't you don't get to cover the the yourself with the shield now." Yeah. Do you think Kevin Spacey was surprised at the pushback? I think he's probably been expecting this to come for a long time because if the rumors are true, it's been going on for a while. Uh, I think he was. A, I don't think he was expecting. I think they probably thought this would have worked. His 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 the statement he released was. Um, it was just so uh, cynical. That's a word. It was so cynical. That, that there's not a doubt. It calculated. There's not. A, he was saving the gay card for exactly this moment, uh, and so. Yeah, I think he was probably surprised. I think he was surprised that he thought that, well, I've got everyone in my pocket and, you know, the media and everything else. Um, and as I said before, and I, and I think that he thought the Rosie O'Donnell's never would have come out and stood up for him, or at least not. They would have just ignored it and wanted it to go away. Um, 
So actually, I think that's progress that they did attack him. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's nothing but infighting on the left right now. But no, uh, <laughs> it, it is a real progress, and 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 I hate to associate my term with progressive, but honestly, it the fact that this didn't work is a sign of actual progress. He he tried to play a victim card, and it and it just didn't it just wouldn't play, and that makes me wonder if the reason that it wouldn't play is because I think the American people now are at the point where they just, when they hear that somebody says, well, they came out as gay, what a heroic act. It, oh, you know, okay, really? Really, yeah. is it really, is it in, in 2017, do you think, Chadwick, is it a heroic act? I think it's more heroic, certainly, without question in show business, for you to, we the fact that we have to use the term, come out as a conservative, just the fact that we have to use that term means we are hiding someplace. Yeah. I don't, do you think that 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 just putting aside all the personal uh, uh, turmoil and difficulties and agony that caused? Because I'm not trying to minimize that at all. But as a statement, as a political statement, do you think that coming out as gay in 2017 is an act of heroism? No, never. No, coming out as a all. Christian. Coming out as a Christian is. I'll bet you. Coming out. Coming out as a Christian. Coming out as a Christian. Definitely. Yeah. Coming out as a conservative. Absolutely. Coming out as gay? Are you kidding me? There's, there's a gay storyline on every single TV show. There, you know, it's shoved down your throat. Gay, 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 gay. I, I, I mean, even when I was writing for gay magazines, I was like, do we need a gay storyline in every TV show? This is so stupid and boring and, and oppressive. I, I mean, I've felt bad for straight people for a few years now of just being like, why do they have to? Why, they don't care about our lives this much, you know? We're not that interesting. Um, no, there's nothing heroic about it. You know, maybe if you're like a high school kid, maybe if you're young and maybe, you know, that's just, you know, maybe we're in sexuality. That's just yeah. sort of, but it's brave to just be a, a young person and, you know, uh, realizing something about yourself. Uh, so I don't want to discredit that, but if you're a 50, how old is Kevin Spacey? 57 or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> no adult. There's nothing brave about being an adult coming out as gay. Or, or apparently transgender either. It'll, it'll only help you if you come out as transgender. <laughs> so it is, that is a form of genuine equality, isn't it? When when the announcement that you're gay is about as important as the announcement that you shop at, you know, A&P instead of Piggly Wiggly. It, I don't mean to, again, I don't mean to trivialize the internal conflicts here because I know there's enormous, enormous emotional uh, pain that comes with this in many, many cases. But I'm talking about in the political sphere. It just doesn't seem to matter much anymore. And do you feel that's a form of like equality and progress? Yeah. And and and. and and what you and I are specifically talking about are, are multimillionaire, powerful people coming out as gay. So, so when you when you sort of say like, I don't want to trivialize people's experiences, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, we're not talking about, you know, like I said, some kid down the block. These are very rich, very powerful, very well connected people. Uh, so, of course, there's nothing. No, there's nothing. There's nothing um, brave or 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 anything or even important. Nobody really cares. Um, and it, and it is uh, that was your question. It of course it's equality. Uh, and and the left really doesn't like the fact that no one cares. They really have to stir up this narrative of homophobia. Perfect example, CNN's headline after um, Spacey came out was, Kevin Spacey faces criticism for coming out gay <laughs> to try to perpetuate this. <laughs> what? <laughs> other than, other what? than that, I was late, Mrs. Lincoln, right? So, uh, yeah, that, that was the headline. And um, so this narrative of homophobia, and I remember this when I was reporting on um, the, uh, the 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 uh, massacre at Pulse Nightclub in Orlando, the jihadi attack, still the, uh, the, the most violent after 9-11. And, um, uh, well, that we know of. Uh, and... Um, I remember when I was reporting on that for gay magazine and it was heartbreaking. It was the hardest thing I had, you know, these, these people's, what they went through was so horrible. And, um, I even remember then the narrative that was being pushed, not only in the gay media, but in the mainstream media was, was self-hating gay man. That the guy who did this, the jihadi who did this, it was a uh, self-hating gay man, which then has this subtext of, we well, you know our society is very oppressive towards gay people. And this guy hated himself so much that he had to shoot up a nightclub. Give me a break. Give me a break. Yeah. And that was also one of the moments where I was really running away from the left that like, what? How can they possibly say this? I mean, if you ask, especially if you ask any gay person who lives in a major city or even a moderately sized city and ask them about homophobia, they're gonna be like, I don't know, some guy looked at me weird one. You know, like it's it's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah. Even in rural communities, I mean, if you know, if you're an adult, you can handle yourself. And that's a great thing for the country and a great thing for the individuals who, who are in this country. And it's a yeah. terrible thing for identity politics, isn't it? Because that's another another bludgeon that gets taken away.
I don't understand why these people, why it's so hard for them to admit that we do live in the most free, open, accepting, and tolerant society on earth. It's, they can't, it, they, they can't accept it. It's, it's, they, it's, they, well, they have to try to believe the opposite when nothing more can be further from the truth. Exactly. Cause if, if America is not the worst place in the world and needs to be fundamentally changed, what do you need the left for?